my name is Abner, I'm Traveling Tuesdays, welcome to my channel and welcome to Split Croatia! hostel is the cutest honestly it, it's costing me about 20 something pounds a night and it's so cute it's actually a restaurant with a hostel attached but if you come and stay in a hostel you get 10% off food so I think I'm going to be basically based here for most of my trip in terms of like food and split it's so beautiful here and the interiors is like goals like Pinterest goals love it so just checked into the hostel this is my first hostel since the pandemic the start of the pandemic. Before like 2020, I used to stay in hostels all the time. Um, actually, the last time I stayed in hostels last year, 2020. Um, but when the pandemic started, I was like, I'm not really sure how I feel like interacting with people in a very intimate space, like a bedroom setting. Um, so I stopped staying in hostels, but now I'm back on it. And this one is really cute, a really cute one to start with. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is the door, and then outside is the terrace with the restaurant. Honestly, these are such good food we've got a little mirror let me zoom out a little bit yes and then the room there's no one in the room right now so i can show you guys but look at these like cute like french window kind of things you can tell someone is literally living here this is so cute um but this is my corner this is my little bed and then yeah this is really really cute like if i show you this is the locker a little mirror, a fit check, a fit check, and then kettle in our little fridge. Whoops, let me put that back. Okay, yes. And then we have like a little terrace, there's no view per se, but honestly, still so cool. It must be like 30 degrees because I'm roasting. Right guys, so I'm currently shooting. I've got my camera facing where I want it to face. But whenever I shoot, I look towards my camera and I have my bag right next to my camera. So I'm facing the camera, obviously take pictures. But I'm keeping my eye on my bag at the same time. I don't put my bag like in the picture or like away from my camera direction. So I always face my camera. Shooting. Sometimes I face away, but just for a few seconds. That's how I keep it kind of safe whilst I'm like solo shooting. Tonight, I don't know whether I'm going to the beach or going to a viewpoint, but I am definitely going to this bar for food that has been recommended to me. I hope I get a space because it's always busy. That restaurant was recommended to me. I'll definitely recommend it, but I would definitely say that like, definitely get the octopus. Like that's what people said, like get the octopus, get the octopus. Unfortunately for me, the octopus had run out, so I couldn't get it. <laughs> but um, the steak was very well cooked. The waiter was really, really good and responsive. But I wouldn't say like it blew me away. You know what I mean? Maybe I'd overhyped my mind, but I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm heading to the beach. This is my final chance to swim in Croatia. Split is beautiful, there's so much history here, but I don't think I'm gonna do the history stuff today because it's so hot. Um, and this is a place where you can hike up to because of my jam to go see sunset. I'll leave the name up here. If you come to Split, definitely go and do that, but I don't have time. And I definitely would prefer to go to the beach and relax than to like hike <laughs> right now.
am headed on a day tour to a national park called Eclipus. Called Eclipus. Um, it's basically a park with these beautiful, gorgeous like, waterfalls that you can walk around. You can't swim in them. If you want to swim, you have to go to a place called Kirka. But Eclipus seems like more beautiful, more like picturesque. So I chose that. I have a 10 minute walk and hopefully I'm not late. Um, but looking forward to it. So we just stopped at a quick kind of like motorway stop. I'm so happy for that. Um, the guy on the bus is so good. Like he's telling us all the history about Croatia. Like Croatia has like the second largest island arc I don't know how to say that word. But he's had the second most islands of any country um, in Europe after Greece. They also have the second tallest men. They have, on average, that the height of their men is like 1.80 meters, which is after the Dutch. Just really interesting facts, really. I'm gonna get some food breakfast. So we've just reached the park. It looks like a woodland kind of like, it looks like I'm going into a forest, which I love that feeling. Um, yeah. So we reached a part of the lake that is waterlogged. So we're basically walking on paths now. We really have to watch the steps because there are cracks and gaps in the path. It's so beautiful. Time for lunch. It hasn't even felt like we've been walking for that long, but hey, it's not meant to be a hike, it's meant to be like a leisurely stroll through a beautiful park. This complex is like so cute, like a little picnic kind of area to come and eat. Morning guys, it's bright, it's beautiful, and it's my last day in Split. <coughs> I'm currently on my way to a free walking tour. I really love free walking tours. And you get to like learn so much about like the country or the city you're in. And this trip for me was not really like a history trip. I just wanted to relax. I was like, you know, before I leave, let me learn a bit more about Split in Croatia. It was really interesting yesterday on the bus what the guide was telling us about Split and Croatia in general. And I was like, definitely want to learn more. Usually I would do a free walking tour at the start of my trip, just to like set the ground. And also just to get a feel of what I want to do for the rest of the trip. Cause obviously I'll show you stuff you can do, but I kind of knew I just wanted to come and chill on the beach. So <laughs> this is just like a last thing I'm doing my last morning. I'm back in our store. I'm about to check out. Check out at 11 30, which I think is amazing. I feel like check out should be late wherever you go. Um, can't find. Hey, look at my battery. I don't know if I can find my charge, my portable charger, but hopefully it will show up somewhere. Um, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I need to get tested before I leave. Fill out all these requirements to get back into England. I'll show you guys the process. So long. <laughs> So 
you guys can see I've eaten and when I was eating I kind of did some research so there is a bus station with buses where I can buy a ticket for the five euros or the equivalent in Kuna to head back to airport also at the airport I can get tests done and get the results in 10 minutes which is so convenient so I'm gonna go and do that right now honestly I'm not sad to be leaving Croatia but I definitely need to come back the people here are the most chillest laid-back people I've ever met in my life so nice honestly especially like as a black person I'm always thinking about how people treat me because I don't know you can meet a nice person but they could be racist you know what I mean but no nah, I've not experienced no hostile behavior so honestly if you're Croatian you're watching this I appreciate you guys so much <laughs>